Hello users and welcome back to another episodic installation of Above It All. So, hot scoop! I thought this was really funny so I, I wanted to open this. But hot scoop! Um, Gislaine Maxwell, I believe how that's her name is pronounced, but honestly I don't give a shit to like, you know, bother pronouncing it more than once. Has been arrested, everybody. Yep, it's happening. It, you know, I don't know why it took so long. It was just like, didn't Epstein get arrested like a year ago or something? Like, I don't know what the timing is. I don't know why she had like a whole year where she's allowed to just prance around like a fucking prancer. But she's arrested. And there's apparently going to be a you know, press conference about this today. But I'm recording this video like, you know, before that happens. But I just want to, you know, talk about this for a little bit. Because the Epstein thing is something that was pretty huge for like a couple months. And then it just kind of like dropped off the face of the earth. And like everyone stopped talking about it. And like it's just kind of like a meme now. And it, But it's like it's one of those things where it's like why was she just a, a chilling? Why was she just chilling? I don't know. Do you know? Why is Hillary Clinton still allowed to talk about things like, you know, oh, I'm a democratic, oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I've got the soul of the party, oh, listen to me, like, why do people respect her? Her and her husband are directly associated with a fucking serial billionaire pedophile. Like, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. And this is like, this is like a good litmus test. If someone will do any defense of Hillary Clinton... That's where you know this bitch is a motherfucker. Like, that's where you know either they are uneducated and don't know what they're talking about, which is like, okay, then you can just kind of ignore them like you'd ignore a six-year-old asking for ice cream that's not your six-year-old if you're just standing in line at the grocery store, you know? Or they're just a piece of shit. Like, those are the only two options for the Hillary Clinton fans. Now, this is like one of those things where I remember there was this big poll in the primary that was done, actually, comparing Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders uh, primary supporters. And I think there was something like 70% of Bernie supporters believed that Epstein was murdered. And then like 70% of Warren supporters believed that Epstein killed himself on his own volition. And I think that that perfectly encapsulated the difference between socialists and liberals. That I don't, I've never seen any poll any data that more perfectly encapsulated like the just sheer stupidity of the liberal voter and the liberal mind like again i just like there it's a it's a yes or no when it comes to pedophilia it's are you a pedophile if yes get the fuck out if no well, okay, <laughs> like, but, like, it's one of those things where it's, like, this whole, oh, well, it's Hillary, oh, it's Bill, oh, uh, uh, but Trump is connected, but I, I can't say that, because the Bill and then, like, the liberal mind literally cannot wrap their minds around this, and I've heard that there's a, uh, a Netflix series about Jeffrey Epstein, maybe I should watch it, I haven't seen it yet, I've, I've heard it's relatively good, but really the thing about this is, th what the, the people don't understand is, this is a, this is an elite power ring. There's a reason why fucking Bill and Hillary are on there and in the black book. There's a reason why Bill Gates is in the black book. There's a reason for all this crap. And that's because all of the rich people, they talk. You think Jeff Bezos ain't talking to Bill Gates? You think Bill Gates ain't talking to Jeff Bezos? You think Mark Zuckerberg ain't fucking sending a text over to whoever? You know, it's like these people are all in constant communication. And... They've got literally unlimited resources. Literally unlimited. Like, you, like, in your wildest imaginations, if you were to have, like, the amount of money that these people have combined, and you go to Walmart, you wouldn't, like, if you were to individually try to shop for everything you wanted to buy, it would take you literally, like, your entire life of just going down aisles buying things with that money before it even came close to being like 3% used up. These people literally have more money than you could ever imagine. Why do you think Trump's in that little black book? They're all in one big club and you ain't in it. This is one thing, again, that I find bizarre is because like, again, 
the Bernie Sanders versus Elizabeth Warren poll that I mentioned, it was like 70% or something like really high of Bernie supporters believed that there was nefarious actions behind Epstein dying. And then like Elizabeth Warren supporters were like, oh yeah, no, he totally killed himself. Everything's on the up and up. But let's talk about the Trump voters. Because yeah, there's a lot of Trump voters out there that love Trump. And they hate Bill and Hillary, and they hate Epstein, right? Because the whole QAnon, the whole Pizzagate thing. But they still love Trump? Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? That sounds a little bit like cuckish behavior. That sounds a lot like the liberal mind that would say, oh, Hillary Clinton might be a pedophile, but she's our pedophile. Oh, Trump might be a pedophile, but he's our pedophile. I've got a message for all of you dumb motherfuckers. One day, your chickens will come home to roost. And I hope to God that you got off that sinking ship before that shit went under. Because Jesus fucking Christ. You, as a Trump voter, have no... You have no credibility when it comes to talking about pedophile rings. When it comes to talking about Epstein. You have zero. Zero. Not like 2%. Not like 3%. Not like reduced fat. You have zero credibility when it comes to talking about this. Why? Because you support a rapist, child molesting loser, Donald Trump. Come on, man. Come on, man. Get off the sinking ship. Get off the sinking ship. Open your fucking eyes. It's one big club and you ain't in it. No matter how hard you want to try. I don't know why you want to try to get into the pedophile club, but no matter how hard you want to try, no matter how much you want to fucking, how many times you jerk off to your Trump poster at night, they're never going to respect you. They're never going to care about you. They don't give a fuck. So stop caring about them. Thank you for watching. This is going to be very interesting to watch unfold, by the way. So I'm going to try to cover this in real time. Thank you.